family, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about my phrase that I use at the end of the video, right? Be kind to yourself and to your spouse. Be respectful to yourself and to your spouse. I feel like I have to explain myself. Why? <laughs> okay. So if you're interested, make sure you grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's talk. So why should you be kind to yourself? first and then to your spouse. Let's talk about this. The world is so full of cruelty and trickery and people trying to take advantage of other people. So your marriage or your partnership is your sanctuary, right? Now in this sanctuary, you want to set a certain environment for for this space where you come home from work and everything and, and, and you're calm and you're settled and you're happy. So how do you set this environment? Kindness. I'm telling you, kindness, I feel like is one of the most underrated words um, in our dictionary and in our vocabulary. Some people take kindness as a sign of weakness. No. Those are two very different things. In order to set that ambiance around me, that aura around me of kindness, I have to treat myself kindly. Because if I don't treat myself kindly, it emanates. People see it. People feel it. It's a certain energy that you create, right? So you have to start with you. Because if you don't start with you, you can't extend it to anybody else. It's very simple, right? So being kind to yourself. Say kind things to yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror this morning. Even if you got crusty stuff in your eye corner, your eyes, and <laughs> you got dried up drool here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say something kind to yourself. Ooh, look at your skin today. It's glowing. Find something to compliment yourself about. Even if you're doing something and you fail, it doesn't go, out, go the way that you expected it to. Encourage yourself. You know what? It didn't work out the way I expected it to, but I'll try it again another time. And I'll do some research this time, make sure I'm better prepared to 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 try it again. It's not a big deal. It's not a in my opinion, you haven't failed until you give up. Being kind to yourself is to remember you're human. You will make mistakes. You will do things that sometimes seem out of character you know what i mean and then other times you'll realize oh why in the world did i do that it's okay you are human remember to forgive yourself be kind to yourself encourage yourself don't expect encouragement from somebody else who because listen while you are thinking somebody else should be encouraging you they are thinking the same probably on their side looking for encouragement themselves. So it's, <laughs> it, you're both going to be in your own little world, hoping that that person encourages you, you know, and, and they're hoping that you encourage them and you're both just sitting there. And when you're kind to yourself, it's even easier to be kind to somebody else. When you're able to lift yourself up, it is even easier to do it for somebody else. And when you do it for somebody else, they and they get used to it, it is easy for them to do it back to you. So guess what? We have a whole positive environment right there. We're lifting each other up. We're encouraging each other. And don't fake it, though. Don't fake it. You look for positive things. Let's just say somebody's crossing the street and they fall down, like flat on their faces, flat <laughs> on their faces in mud, literally. Don't pretend that they didn't fall down. And say, oh, that wasn't the fall. Come on now, that wasn't the fall. Don't, no, don't do that. You help them up and tell them it's okay. Are you, are you hurt? Are you okay? You know, don't, don't, don't feel embarrassed about it. It happens to everybody at some point or other. Okay, so don't feel embarrassed about it. Is there anything I can do for you? Do you want me to help you carry your bag? Whatever it is, you know what I mean? That is the kindness I'm talking about. Don't, don't overdo it to the point where you just kind of, uh, patronizing don't do that because that to me if you patronize me that's that's the same as an insult with that being said 
being kind to yourself makes it easier to be kind to other people. When you're kind to other people, it makes it easy for them to be kind to you back and also to be kind to other people. Can you imagine a world where we're all kind to one another? Oh, so that's number one. Number two, respect. Hmm. I see, especially when it comes to women, we tolerate a lot of disrespect and it doesn't have to be that way because deep inside there's something in a person that tolerates disrespect that is broken. There's a certain brokenness in there where you don't feel worthy to be respected. You don't feel like you have achieved anything for somebody to respect you about or for. That is so wrong. The fact that you're a human being, that is all. You should be respected. You know what I mean? You don't have to be the greatest of the greats to be respected. You don't have to have invented something marvelous to be respected, okay? You were created by the almighty God himself. You are molded by him. You are unique in this entire universe. There's nobody identical to you. Not even your twin, if you have twins, because if you all check your DNA, it's not identical. Just the fact that you were created as a unique, special being. You better lift your head up. <laughs> you better lift that head up, okay? Do not tolerate disrespect for anybody. Do not, don't, from, <laughs> I'm trying to say, do not tolerate disrespect from anybody. But in order to have that aura where people know that they cannot disrespect you, you have to respect yourself. You have to keep your head up and know that you are worthy of respect. Why? I just explained it to you. I just told you exactly why you should be respected. With that being said, you must respect others. You have to respect others. People feel, and I see this, when you're in like the workspace, you know, in the office and you have the janitors or the cleaners that come and they take your trash or you go to the bathroom and they're there cleaning. People treat them like they're invisible. I see that and it pains me. That is somebody's mother, that's somebody's sister, that's somebody's brother, that's some, somebody's auntie or uncle. You know, that is somebody who is a pinnacle in somebody's life. And somebody has to do that job. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Because if you don't want to do it, you better respect the people who are willing to do it. How about that? So don't look at somebody's job and disrespect them about it. Oh, that does. Mm. Don't look at somebody's job and disrespect them about it. Okay. When you value humanity, you should be able to vocalize it. Greet the people when you see them in any job that you feel is even menial. It's okay. Somebody has to do the menial jobs, right? They're not beneath you. They're absolutely not beneath you. And to me, it even takes a certain kind of character to be able to do those kinds of jobs. I can't do it. I ain't coming to come clean your bathroom. So it takes a, a person of a certain kind of character to be able to do that job. And sometimes, yes, it's because they need the money and whatnot, but that doesn't make them any less human than you. So you must respect everybody. When you respect yourself, it is easy to respect everybody else around you, including your spouse. And that's who we're talking about here. So you have to make sure that you, you emanate that respect. Give, you know, folks eye contact and say hello. There's nothing wrong with that. Somebody does something for you, say thank you. Even if it is their job to do it for you, say thank you. Okay. <laughs> but, but knowing that, you know, you have a place in this world. You're here for a purpose. You're here for a reason. Regardless of whether 
what you are here for is visible to the entire world or visible just to a small microcosm of, of, of uh, the world. It's okay. Somebody has to do what it is that you were placed here to do. Usually people who are bitter are the ones that treat other people that same way. And if you know, you know, if you've experienced that, you know, put in the comments below. So when somebody is bitter to me or is rude to me, and I tell my kids this, they're coming from a place that most likely has nothing to do with me, especially when I don't even know the person. They've just been through something. You know what I mean? Where they're treated a certain way or whatever it is, the outcome was other than positive and they project it. My pastor always says, hurt people, hurt people. So try to be positive. Trust me, especially when I'm talking, uh, um, you, you say you, you're buying some fast food somewhere and the person is rude to you, you know, you can still say thank you. Don't snatch your food. You can still say thank you. You know what I mean? If you respect yourself and your self-esteem does not come from how people treat you, but it comes from deep within yourself, somebody's treatment of you is not going to make you disrespect somebody else. You won't project it to somebody else because within yourself, you have that confidence. You have that respect for yourself, right? And regardless of how somebody treats you, you're still able to say thank you, you're still able to say please, you're still able to compliment them. Um, and sometimes that's what turns somebody's day 180 degrees. It turns their day around. They just needed that one kind word because they've been through so much already. Because this world is hard. Pretty difficult world we live in right here. People go through a lot. People go through so much. And... It is so simple to brighten somebody's day with one kind phrase, just one. Let them feel that they are seen. That's all that I have to say. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Click on that button there. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that as soon as I send a new video, as soon as I post a new video, you're going to see it as well. And then you can watch it. Make sure to share. Um, I think um, a lot of people want should be aware of these discussions that we're having and join in the conversation below because it's important to spread um, awareness, uh, to spread kindness. But um, I just want you all to feel encouraged in your marriages. Um, make sure that you understand the way your, your spouse treats you, whether it's kind or whether it's unkind, doesn't dictate who you are. You have to remember that. So with that being said, I think that's another topic for a whole other video. So remember to, in order for your marriage to thrive, you have to be kind to yourself and to your spouse, and you have to be respectful to yourself and to your spouse. Until next time, peace out.